Good morning, this is the National Weather Service in Northern Indiana. It's approximately 6 a.m. on Monday, August 29th. I want to take the next few minutes here to bring you up to date on the latest forecast information concerning the severe weather potential later this afternoon into tonight. This first slide just shows you the Storm Prediction Center updated outlook early this morning with an enhanced risk of severe weather. The probabilities have been increased across northwest Indiana and to parts of northeast Illinois. A slight risk for most of the forecast area and a lower marginal risk as we get into portions of northwest Ohio. And over the next few slides we'll break down the threats and the timing and how they break out across the entire forecast area. Getting into a little more detail in terms of the threats with this particular severe weather event, this potential event, as we mentioned damaging wind gusts are the greatest potential threat and breaking down these slider bars here for each individual threat, we do have tornadoes as a very low threat, not really expecting that to be a significant um, threat in terms of today's potential severe weather event. Hail listed as a low threat. At this point, the greatest potential of isolated large hail up to one inch in diameter looks like it would be in that late afternoon to possibly early evening hours and mainly across northwest Indiana where we're expecting some greater instability. We do have wind in the medium threat category, as we mentioned, that looks like the greatest potential. A wind gust in excess of 60 miles per hour looks like a medium threat. And we do have a low to medium threat of some localized heavy rain and flooding, which we'll need to watch out for. And we do have a medium to high confidence in severe weather occurring across the area, but the extent of that severe weather and the coverage and the exact timing is more of a medium threat at this point. And as we mentioned, the greatest risk of severe storms is west of Interstate 69. And we do have timing listed as a medium confidence here. The greatest potential of severe weather from 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. midnight tonight. And we'll get into the next slide. We'll give you more detail in terms of timing going across our entire area. Greatest threat appears to be late afternoon into early evening. And that ending time, that 4 p.m. to midnight, that's a little bit lower confidence in the exact ending time of the severe weather threat. This slide will allow you to see a little more detailed breakdown in terms of timing the greatest severe weather threat across our area. Far northwest into portions of north central Indiana and southern lower Michigan, looking more for a late afternoon timing of the onset, 4 p.m. and extending through 9 p.m. this evening. Then in the central portions of our area, more of a 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. timing, and in the far south, 7 p.m. to midnight. And the right image just shows the confidence in severe weather as we go from west to east across the area. You can see the highest confidence in severe weather occurring, medium to high, is across northwest Indiana and the southwest lower Michigan. And that confidence tails off to low as we get into northwest Ohio where our confidence is significantly lower in severe weather occurring as we get into the far east and southeast portions of our area. And repeating, it's approximately 6 a.m. Monday morning, August 29th. Thank you for having joined us for this multimedia briefing. Keep in mind, uh, forecast information could change at a later time, so be sure to check back through the day for the latest details on this potential severe weather event through our website at weather.gov forward slash IWX or updates on our social media on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for joining us and as always we would appreciate any reports of severe weather you have uh, with this particular event.